on the line right now, the Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer? Hi. Hey, honey. Oh, so good to talk hi, to you guys. again. You too. How you been? We've been great. <laughs> Thank you. How you been? I've been good. <laughs> a little bit busy? <laughs> a little bit busy, but good. <laughs> what are you up to this morning? This morning, I'm just talking to you. Oh, oh, that's it. Exclusive engagement. This Dana, Jeffrey, and Jennifer. <laughs> oh, well, we appreciate it. Two other special people. <laughs> when you do these, do you just sit in a hotel, or can you at least do it from the comfort of your home? No, I'm home in L.A. right now. Oh, cool. You are. See, and yeah. if I were you right now, I would be worried that my toddler was going to run in and start, <laughs> Mom, I want to watch Dora. I want to, what, where is yeah. it? You no, have I worry about that too. Oh, you worry too. Okay. Are they home? Yeah. yeah uh, they're home today. They're on spring break. Oh. <laughs> so it's extra. Is hilarious? They have spring break. It, it is hilarious yeah. because you think spring break beer funnel, not really like my four-year-old twins. <laughs> well, it's true. And you also think, why do they need a break? Because my daughter's on spring break oh, this yeah. week too. And I'm yeah, like. from circle time. Yeah. From circle time. It's a little stressful. And cookie eating and goldfish eating. And I'm like, I need a break. And now I'm stressed with the child care issue. So I'm in the same situation. That's funny. When you have so much going on, when you have everything from your American Idol duties, such a big week with the new single out on iTunes today, Mm -hmm. the debut of the new video and all that stuff. How do you balance that week when your kids are pulling you over to the couch? Because my daughter, when she's (laughs) wanting me to sit with her, she grabs my hand and she wants to watch Max and Ruby. So what do you do in those moments? I know. It, it hurts. Sometimes you have to say no, and sometimes you're just like, I just got to sit here for 20 minutes. Do exactly. You know I mean? <laughs> right. Watch an episode. You, know, you have to kind of balance it. It's like, do I really have to? Do I have 20 minutes, or do I not? Or do I sit down, or do I, you know what I mean? It's always like this battle mm-hmm. that you're going through because you want them to be happy, and you want to be there for them, and then you have to work. And, you know, every working mom's thing. It really is, and you're like the ultimate, because I even the just ultimate. saw that, Jennifer, you have, I saw the trailer. If anybody went to see Hunger Games, you have what to expect when you're expecting coming out too. Right. Yeah, we have that coming out in May. Not to mention the Dance Again video coming out. You have K-Viva yeah. that you're working on. I mean, you yep. need spring break. You need a beer funnel, girl. I need spring break. <laughs> What's that? Well, Jennifer, I would probably get the worst parent of the year award if mm-hmm. I had children, which is why I don't. But I love yours and I love Dana's daughter. Um, <laughs> but this is my bad parenting suggestion, or maybe it's a good one. I'm not really sure. But I know that I am loving you on the cover of Vogue and of V Magazine. Magazine. Dana and I are sitting here looking at oh. your V spread, which is so I incredibly can't. fabulous. It's ridiculous. Thank but, you. Would it be possible that maybe V could send over a few V magazines, but maybe without the color, and then your twins could color mommy? Oh. And that way they get a dose of you, but it's like a coloring book of mommy. It's not the worst idea in oh. the world. But... <laughs> and we're sitting here seriously drooling over the pictures. I mean, <sighs> from, you have the glam ones in Vogue, and then you have the... Oh. I don't no, I love that rough boxer look Sexy you have. Sexy one in, in V. Yeah, they're kind of edgy and tough. That oh. was Mario. When you're named the most beautiful woman in the world, and I know you're probably like, <laughs> okay, I know. Okay, you don't have to bring I get it. Out it. Of <laughs> but does that put this insane pressure on you every day? Oh, yeah. How is that? You know, when it first happened last year, it was like weird for me. Even though it was really flattering, I was weird. I was like, God, that's a weird title. It and is weird. Like, you know, because there's so many beautiful women in the world. It's ridiculous. But at the same time, it was really flattering. And so it was like, for me, kind of back and forth. But then now I'm just like, you take it with a grain of salt. It was just a nice thing. It was a nice recognition of titles for the moment. Or, you know, I just don't even think about it. It's just... Do you, so you don't I think it, about I it? I take it with a grain of salt. When yeah. you want to have a sweatsuit day or a tracksuit day or a t-shirt, you're not thinking, I probably would feel that pressure like <laughs> if they see me they're gonna know okay yeah. that's good because that would be so upsetting no, I, I go out without makeup and roll up my jeans and you know whatever i put my hair in a ponytail and a little bun or whatever i don't care because I have to be dressed up all the time, mm-hmm. you know, for work. Yeah. You know, and I um, have like the six inch heels and oh, yeah. the lashes and the whole thing. And it's just sometimes it's just nice to not have to do all that. Well, and it's such a huge title, The Most Beautiful Woman <laughs> in the World. I, I know, mean, it's a lot. It's, and, a, it's lot. a lot. And you just can't, like I said, you can't take it too seriously. But at the same time, I appreciate it. Well, and I imagine it helps you to kind of get some.
one perspective also, whenever you were working on K-Viva, you traveled to 21 different Latin American countries? Yeah, we traveled all over South America. Actually, we split up the countries, but yes. So I imagine going to each of those countries, you kind of see these women that don't have the glamour treatment, hair and makeup and that sort of thing, but at the same time, these naturally gorgeous women, such as yourself, yeah. and it probably is comforting in a way to know, you know what? They're not thinking of me necessarily as mm -hmm. the world's most beautiful woman. They're thinking of me no. because of my talent and because I'm Latina and I'm here finding them as talented and beautiful. So that must be cool. Yeah, I, it's more about the inspiration. And for me, I always think about that. Like, you know, the things that I do, I don't put pressure on myself to accomplish things or be a certain way or do a certain thing. I just try to be myself and, and fulfill what I want to fulfill and hopefully in that inspire other people to do what they want to do too. And I think that's so cool. And I thought something really cool that I took out of the V Magazine article was how you were talking about bringing this show to a wider audience is going to help people kind of get, I believe you said, an education or, or a crash course about Latina culture and heritage and yeah. the differences. No, definitely. Que Viva has, has been a really, really special project and we're actually toward the end of it now. We're about to, you know, do the live show and stuff. It was great because we do, you know, our dream was always to kind of find talent that wouldn't normally get this type of platform cool. and show people really what Latin culture and music and rhythms and dance, you know, all different types of talent and show them what it is, what it really is, because it really is steeped so much in culture and tradition and, and it turned out to be such an education for us, which is why I said that. I think it's going to be an education for people, mm -hmm. but you know, an education in like passion and feeling and, and it's going to be, it's been a really, really interesting journey. It's just so cool as a Latina American that you can bring all of that to us here in the States, you know? Like, you're really broadening a yeah. lot of people's idea about entertainment. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, that was kind of the dream to do that. Living and, the uh, dream, sister. We're so excited for you because you have, I personally, it was one of those things when I saw the trailer for what to expect when you're expecting while we're yeah. watching The Hunger Games. I did a little yelp like, oh, we're going to see that. Oh my God, that looks so good. Huge cast. And I feel like that book needed to be parlayed into something bigger. And I'm sure you had a blast with Chris Ross. Rock is in it, Cameron Diaz. Yeah, it's a big cast. It's a big ensemble cast with tons of great people in it. You know, that book was is so important to every pregnant couple. It was. <laughs> Did you, was it important and to it, you too? Or Yeah, I used it like crazy. Me too. Yeah, I read it the whole, my whole pregnancy. And, you know, it's a thing, that, that thing where it's like, okay, they can tell you exactly what's been happening inside your body and where you are in your pregnancy, but everybody's pregnancy is different. This is why the book is kind of funny in kind of that comedy vein, because you never even though it's like what's expecting you expect, you never know what to expect everybody's mm -hmm. experience is totally different so. right the movie looks hilarious we're excited about the upcoming show and on Idol tonight you're premiering the new video with mm. your man Casper yes for the song Dance Again and the clips that you sent out the little teaser photos so hot looking look so hot. good so good to talk to you again honey <laughs> thank you so much yeah check us out on Idol we sure will thanks Jennifer thank much love honey